Clemson at South Carolina. Uh, yeah, yeah, eleven and a half is the total or is the uh, the the spread here? I didn't even write down the total, but who cares? Uh, we're we're picking sides. There's no number that would make me it would lead me to believe that South Carolina would stay in this game, and yet the Shane Beamer factor has got me all over this. Like, there's no reason for me to take South Carolina at all. Clemson finally broke into the CFP top 25 and whatnot, but there's there's nothing. There's nothing that I can point to that would lead me to think that South Carolina could cover this number, but it is a night game in Columbia, and Beamer has that bunch believing for whatever reason. I'm going to take South Carolina to keep it within the 11.5, and this is not a numbers play. This is, obviously, it's not going to be a bet or anything like that. This is solely because I think the chaos would be incredible to see what happens at Clemson if they were to lose this ballgame. I mean, could you imagine the boosters that have stayed out of the way forever and what they would say to Dab at this point? Because it's not if winning by one point ain't enough, then blah, blah. You know, all the crap that you've heard out of him over the past however many years. What do you say? if you then lose the state championship as well. Or even more crazy, if they were to lose this ball game and yet still get to play for an ACC championship game because NC State and Wake Forest both lost. Like, (laughs) I can't can't wait for it. I can't wait. You uh, you got a feel on this one. Okay, you know me. (laughs) You know that I'm a coward. And you know what I try to do is I try to have it both ways and say like, my numbers say this, but my gut feels this or whatever. I'm going to trust my numbers. My numbers, 30, uh, Clemson 30, South Carolina 25. I think South Carolina will again, have the motivation factor. Their offense is not awful and their defense is, is pretty okay. And so I'm going to go with them. One, one thing that I, I will point out, South Carolina or uh, yeah, South Carolina is currently five and one at home. They have one loss at home. If this was in Clemson, I would say Clemson plus, like, I'd take them minus 30. But I think that at home, they really do have something special. They've got a they've got a kind of in-state thing. I think Beamer, you know, been around great football programs, has, knows enough to know how important this game is. And like we talked about, Clemson can only lose this game. Even if they win, they can only lose. And so I, I, I think that South Carolina keeps it close. And so I, I'll I'll trust my numbers, even though I want to be boring and pick Clemson because I'm nervous about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say you know what, trust the process, and South South Carolina is gonna keep it close. I like it. I like it. Uh, there is something about playing in Columbia that that has really woken that team up. And a night game there against Clemson. I mean, that fan base is gonna be rabid. There's gonna be eighty thousand people all wearing go cocks on their shirts and hats and whatnot. Like I'm. I'm pumped about it. I love this matchup. I think uh, I think there's no reason to really believe other than the fact that uh, Shane Beamer knows how to motivate that that bunch of kids. I mean, it's, they're playing with a third string quarterback, and they've been better than they were with Zeb Nolan or Luke Doty. Like, <laughs> none of it makes any sense to me. So, all no, right, it's crazy. So we're both taking uh, South Carolina plus the eleven and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.